All right, folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do the tune, I Am A Man Of Constant Sorrow, modeled roughly after the Soggy Bottom Boys version in O Brother Or Art Thou. So I'm just gonna give you kind of a fiddle tune version of the way the vocal melody goes, all right? And then um, I'm gonna play the whole thing and then break it down for you part by part. I've changed the key to make it easier for beginners. So the, the beginning, the start of this lesson, well, it'll be in a different key than the recording, just so you know. Because I want just more beginning students to be able to play the melody. Then at the end, I'll get the more intermediate players, I'll suggest how you can transpose it to the original key from the recording so you can play along. All right? Um, there are also tabs for the left hand fingerings in the description below. And also, if you want sheet music or mp3s, there's um, a course outline at fiddlehead.com that's very helpful. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. I was just trying to think of a good scale you could do. I mean, you could do A major. But I think even a better scale would be something like... Which is, I guess, F sharp minor pentatonic. Here's that again. It's D2, open A, 1, a2, open E, and then starting over on E1. So that'll, if you get that really in your fingers, this tune will be a lot easier. So let's start now. I'll slowly play you the first quarter of the, of this tune. Now with more flow. So just A2, 2, 2, two 1, open, D2. Here it is again. And that last one was held long. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's held three beats. All right. So let's move on now to the second quarter. With more flow. Do that three times in a row, looping. Okay, let's do the third quarter. with more flow. It's A1, 2, open E. Back to A2. Okay, let's do the fourth quarter. Okay. 
Okay, let's do it with flow. And it's a two, one, open D two. Once more. All right, we are now gonna just play the entire thing so far. And if any of those parts you're unsure of, pause the video, rewind, listen to them again, and practice them right now. Here we go, very slowly. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole song. Um, I, I also did the, I, I repeated the A part when I did it at the beginning of the video and did one little thing different in the first quarter. So I'm gonna just slowly play you how it's different and we'll learn that right now. So with more flow, And so what's different is, I want to I do a two, two, and then instead of going two, one, open there on A string, I go E1, A1, open. So just one note different, but it, it, to me it makes a big difference. Let's do it again slowly. So I kind of put this version together by listening to the vocal, like the singer would do that every once in a while. He would hear, so it just seemed like it would be kind of cool to present that in this version. Let's just do the whole alternate A, we'll call it. If you started to learn variation, I'll just say that uh, a nice variation you can do is just to add tasteful slides, like in the first. If you are a beginner, I strongly suggest that you do not slide yet. Because um, if you start sliding too early, you'll never really develop your tonal center hearing the thing and, and it'll become kind of like a crutch and so I only think I only throw that I almost regret suggesting sliding because you're all gonna want to do it now but definitely be careful if you're a beginner because um, you may not ever play in tune again if you start sliding too early all right so um, let's see let's go down and uh, let's just I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how to do it in the um, other key of A flat, okay? So, um, <clears throat> I basically just kind of want to present a challenge to all you intermediate students out there. I'm just going to play a little bit of it and, and then the rest is tabbed below, okay? And uh, so I, I don't. I want to. I want. I just want to leave it up to you to get the rest of it. Okay. So. Um, your scale will be now F minor pentatonic. All right. And so the first quarter of the A part will be. And so uh, I might just play the whole thing in this key and then you have the tabs below.
So, I think if you're intermediate, you should be able to figure it out if you've gotten the melody in the easier key. But if not, let me know. If that wasn't helpful enough, let me know. But I like, I kind of like the idea of giving you a little challenge instead of spelling out every note for this intermediate version. I'm going to let the intermediate students just sort of battle and figure it out on their own. Okay, so uh, glad you made it to the end and we will see you next time, right? You're going to be back, right? Subscribe, all that stuff I'm supposed to say. Do it. Okay, so long. Thanks for watching.